Hello friends! Five weeks left till PCM Europe gets back face to face. Major event in power semiconductors industry is on its way, and I can't wait to see what it's got for us. Exciting market updates for sure. Just five more weeks. And now let's check what is new in power semiconductors industry. Tashiv Electronic Devices and Storage Corporation has launched a 150V N channel power MOSFET that uses the latest generation process and that is suitable for use in switching power supplies for industrial equipment, including those deployed in data centers and communications base stations. Tashiba will expand its lineup of power MOSFETs that improve equipment power supply efficiency by cutting losses, helping to reduce power consumption. Odyssey Semiconductor Technologies, a semiconductor device company developing innovative high-voltage vertical power switching components based on appropriately gallium nitride processing technology, announced it has reached a technology milestone in its development of the world's most advanced vertical gain power field effect transistors. Odyssey has now validated its approach at a 700V rating while also providing industry-leading efficiency with remarkably low on resistance. These devices also exhibit very low gate leakage and can be operated in a mode where they are normally off. Technology validation can begin on these 700V devices, while an extension of the same architecture to the next milestone of 1200V rating or better is completed. Shaw Adenka has launched mass production of silicon carbide single crystal wafers with a diameter of 6 inches, which are used as materials for silicon carbide epitaxial wafers to be processed and installed into silicon carbide based power semiconductors. Shaw Adenka decided to launch in house mass production of 6 inch silicon carbide wafers because plural customers have adopted SDK silicon carbide epitaxial wafers made from in house produced 6 inch silicon carbide wafers. On the other hand, Shawadenka will continue purchasing silicon carbide wafers from its partners in order to respond to rapidly growing demand for silicon carbide epitaxial wafers for power semiconductors. SDK will diversify sources of silicon carbide wafers, thereby establishing a stable supply chain for silicon carbide epitaxial wafers. Amicron and Danfa Silicon Power announced a merger to create a giant business specialized in power electronics focusing on power semiconductor modules. With an existing workforce of more than 3,500 dedicated power electronic specialists, the new Semicron Danfoss will provide world-class technology expertise as a leading partner in power electronics. The merger comes with a firm commitment to future investments, paving the way for green growth and a more sustainable, energy-efficient and decarbonized future. Semicron Danfoss will be a central enabler of this transition. Simicron Danfoss will leverage its strong core business in industrial and renewable power module applications and will utilize the partnership to target a leading position in automotive power modules. Simicron Danfoss will set the trend and drive the technology shift into silicon carbide solutions in both industrial and automotive applications. Xperia announced the official launch of its new design center in Dallas, Texas. Having recently celebrated its fifth anniversary as an independent company, this development marks another major step towards Nexperia's stated goal of becoming a world leader in essential semiconductors by 2030. The Dallas Design Center is Nexperia's first research and development facility in North America and will focus on the development of analog signal conversion and power management ICs. Nexperia has ambitious plans for its new center and is aiming for a six-fold increase in the numbers of employees located there by the end of 2023. Power module reliability could be limited by its ability to withstand repeated load cycles. This Semicron webinar introduces the concept of power cycling, its effect on power semiconductor modules, and shows how to predict when a module may fail. If you are a design or component engineer, be sure to join this webinar. Silicon carbide offers well-known performance advantages for applications like automotive drive trains, automotive charging, and high-frequency based systems. Yet markets such as industrial motor and motion linger as a silicon stronghold. With the overrake and the urgency of higher efficiency motor systems as well as the need for flexibility in scaling power conversion thermal systems, the system level advantages of silicon carbide make a significant and timely argument for its adoption. Join this WallSpeed webinar to learn approaches to circuit architectures using silicon carbide, scalability from discrete to modules, and design and market trends for motors and motion. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, more market news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to my blog for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch.